Hi, I'm Nathan, and this is a tutorial about how to swap uh, the model of one armor in Breath of the Wild with uh, the model of another armor. Uh, so the example that we're going to be using is swapping the Hylian tunic with the tunic of the wild. So that uh, the Hylian tunic will look like the tunic of the wild, and the tunic of the wild will look like the Hylian tunic. So, to do this, we're going to need uh, wild bits. Wild bits is a Python tool, so just follow these instructions um, to install that. Okay. And before you get started, you're going to want to get all the files that you'll need to do this. And uh, so, for this, you're just going to need the actor packs uh, that are found in. Uh, your Breath of the Wild uh, game files. So for each armor there are five levels um, and one actor pack per level. So these are the Hylian tunic ones. Upper means that yeah it's the the tunic and so it's one two three four and fifteen. And then for the tunic of the wild that's 5, 35, 39, 60, and 61 upper. And so yeah, those are SB actor packs. Okay, so first thing we're going to want to do is we're going to open these up in wild bits to edit uh, a few parameters. So we're going to open up two instances of wild bits so that we can open, up, open them at the same time. So in one, <clears throat> we will open up the Hylian, uh, Hylian tunic, so armor 001 upper. And we will open up in this one the tunic of the wild, armor 005 upper. All right, so there's actor and physics. Now, there's a couple things we'll want to look at. First, you just want to make sure that AS and AS list, see if they are the same. In this situation, they are the same. So that means we will never have to mess with those. That's great. If they are different, then we'll have to be switching some things out, uh, some things around later. And I'll just mention those as we go. But for this example, we don't need to worry about AS or AS link. What we're going to want to change here is in actor link. So you want to open up actor link, right click on it and open as YAML. That'll bring us over to this tab, YAML tools. And do that in both of them. Okay, so uh, again, check here the AS user is upper common. Over here, AS user is upper common. Again, because that AS and AS uh, link are the same. Uh, so we don't need to change it. If they are different, then you're going to want to swap those. Um, so let's, yeah, for imagine that this one was called Upper Hylian and this one was called Upper Wild. You'd want to switch those around. So now Armor 001 would have Upper Wild and you would change Armor 005 to Upper Hylian. Just swap them. Um, we're also going to want to swap the model user. And so model user for armor 001 is, of course, armor 001. But we're going to change that to armor 005. And over here, model user is armor 005. We're going to change that to 1. OK. Then the same for physics. Physics user is armor 001. We're going to change that to 5. This five, we're going to change that to one. So now the tu trouser, the uh, tunic of the wild, is using the model and physics of the Hylian tunic, and the Hylian tunic is using the model and physics of the tunic of the wild. Okay. So to, uh, next, we're going to want to save. Make sure you save your changes. So that's in file, save. 
and go back to the SARC Tools tab. I'm going to do both of those. Remember to file, save, go back to SARC Tools. And now we're going to want to open up the, uh, let's see, the general parameter list. Notice that this is yellow now because it's been changed from the, uh, from the vanilla settings. All right, so again, right click on this, open as YAML, general parameter list, right click, open as YAML. Uh, what we're interested in here is the use icon actor name. <clears throat> After this string 64, um, you're going to want to change that so that it uses the icons of the other armor. When you open up a higher level, this is just level one. When you open up a higher level, it's actually going to have an entry here. So it, um, for example, the level two uh, Hylian tunic is gonna say down here, armor 001 upper. Um, you're gonna, again, just wanna change that to what we're typing here. So we're gonna put it as armor 005 upper. Okay, and so for every level, you're going to put that armor 005 upper. And then for the tunic of the wild, we're going to be changing that to armor 001 upper. Okay, that's all we got to change here. So again, file save, go back to Sark Tools, and over here, file, save, go back to Sark Tools. And before we close it, you definitely want to save down here. So this will save all those changes. And over here, save. I always click it like five times just to be sure. <laughs> um, after that, you don't need to exit out. You can just go ahead and open the next one. So armor 002. We're gonna to have to do that for all of them. I'm not gonna do that in a tutorial because it's just the same process. So again, actor link, you're gonna change the physics user and the model user, file save, go into the general parameter list and see here it says armor 001 upper already, but you're gonna to wanna to change that to armor 005 upper and you'll do that for every level of the Hylian tunic and over here again you'll open up the next level of the wild tunic and you'll do that for every level. So you'll edit all five of these and all five of the Hylian. All right so but for us in this tutorial we have already edited the first level of each armor so that's what we'll be working with. So we can go ahead and close out a wild bits Okay, so now we want to use Breath of the Wild Unpacker to unpack these actor packs. So you'll want to click on Unpack Sark and navigate to wherever these things are. And so we will unpack Armor 001 Upper SB Actor Pack, open it up. Do you want to extract it? Yes. So now that is open, we can just go click, close that. And we're gonna also unpack, let's go to the wild tunic and unpack that. Okay. So now you're gonna to want to go ahead and unpack each level. So for the wild tunic, you're gonna unpack 005, 35, 39, 60, 61, all of them. All right, so now in here, we have those five SB actor packs like before, <clears throat> but now we also have, so armor 001 has been extracted to a B actor pack, and now that was further extracted to a folder. Um, and so after you've done that to all of these SB actor packs, you'll have five B actor packs and five folders. Um, once you've extracted all of them, you can actually go ahead and delete these SB actor packs, um, leaving only the B actor packs and the folders. That'll make it a little bit more organized. Okay, so let's go ahead and do that for over here too. All SB actor packs, 
will be deleted, leaving the B actor packs and the folders. And for you, you'll have five B actor packs and five folders. Okay, now we're gonna be, want to be opening these folders and moving files around. But uh, to make it more convenient for us, uh, you'll wanna copy one folder from each armor. So copy that and put it out here. And copy that and put it out here. Okay, so that way when we edit these ones in here, these ones out here will keep their original files so we can use those to uh, be copying them over to the other armor. <clears throat> All right, so let's say, let's um, first start editing our uh, Hylian trousers, not our Hylian tunic. So the most efficient way is to, yeah, uh, edit all five levels of one armor and then edit all five levels of the other. So first we'll edit the Hylian tunic. So open this guy up and open that folder and you'll have these two, actor and physics. And so then we're going to open the opposite one that we have out on the desktop, the one that we're not editing. So it should also say actor and physics. So let's put these side by side. The wild is on the left and the Hylian is on the right. So here's what we want to do. First, physics, we want to delete it. In the, in the Hylian tunic, we delete its physics and we will copy these physics from the wild tunic and paste them into the Hylian tunic. All right, physics, that physics is taken care of. Now we'll open actor. And on the Hylian tunic, we're going to delete physics and model list. Now, earlier we talked about AS and AS list. If those were different, we would also delete those. Because they're the same, we don't need to bother with deleting them. Um, so in this situation, we don't need to delete AS and AS list, but I might as well. I'll do it just to show what you would do if they were different. So I'll delete AS and AS list and model list and physics. Delete. Then we will take AS, AS list, model list, and physics from over here copy, and paste them in. All right, so now level one, armor 001 upper, level one of the Hylian tunic is 100% set in its files. So you would go back and you would open up your next folder, armor 002 upper. It'll look the same inside, you'll do the same thing. Delete physics and take it from the wild tunic um, take it from, yeah, just take it from here. You can leave this open and just copy the files, the same files from here over to each level of, uh, of the Hylian tunic until you have done all five levels. And then close these out. Then we'll open up our folder uh, of the wild tunic and we'll open up the copied armor 001 out here, the one that hasn't been edited. Once again, we'll put them side by side and now we'll be editing the tunic of the wild. So once it's basically, it's the same thing, delete physics, copy physics and paste, open up actor, delete a, uh, let's see, sorry, over here, <laughs> delete AS, AS list, model list, and physics. Again, remember if in wild bits, AS list and AS were the same, you don't need to do this. Uh, you don't need to delete them. You'll only need to delete model list and physics. I guess, yeah, for this, for this one, we'll just do that. So delete physics, delete, uh, delete model list, 
and copy these ones from the Hylian tunic and paste them over here. There you go. You'll want to go back and do that for each level of the Tunic of the Wild. So we've done Armor 005, you'll also do Armor 035, 39, 60, 61. Every level, copy the files from the Hylian Tunic into the Wild Tunic. Then we can close these out. Once you've finished all five levels of the Hylian Tunic and all five levels of the Wild Tunic, you'll go back into Breath of, Wild, Breath of the Wild Unpacker, and now you'll hit Build Sark. So let's see, go to desktop, we'll go into our Actor Packs Hylian, and so you'll have five folders here, and you'll need to build them each one at a time. So first we'll build Armor 001 upper, select the folder, and you should still have the B Actor Packs in that folder, so you can just click on the corresponding B Actor Pack, since we're doing 001, we'll click on 001 B Actor Pack, and hit Save, and Replace. And then you'll say Build Sark, and you'll build each of those five folders, 001, 002, 003, 004, and 15. <clears throat> And then you'll also go ahead and build, go to Actor Packs Wild, and build the Tunic of the Wild. So select 005 upper, click on the corresponding B Actor Pack, save and replace. Yep. Okay. And then we're going to have to Yaz Zero encode all of those. So encode it. Um, you will select that the B actor packs that you've made. So select the B actor pack and just hit open. And it was very quick. Encode and complete, complete. And if you go in there, you can see now we have a brand new SB actor pack. Um, once you have encoded all five B actor packs in there, and you have five new SB actor packs, you can delete all of the B actor packs and folders, leaving only the new, the five new SB Actor Packs. And of course you'll want to do that over on the Hylian Tunic as well. So encode the Armor 001 B Actor Pack that you just made. And now you can see we have a new SB Actor Pack. So delete the B Actor Pack and the folder and these SB Actor Packs are all that you'll need. So use those SB Actor Packs to make a uh, graphics pack uh, or a uh, BMP and install that mod, and there you go. Your Tunic of the Wild should look like the Hylian Tunic and use its icons, and the, tunic, uh, the Hylian Tunic should look like the Tunic of the Wild and use its icons. Um, and the, both the model and physics should be working correctly. Hope that was clear. Um, yeah, and hope it's helpful. All right. Good luck with modding.